Behind every great conflict in Westeros lies a tale of personal vendettas and strategic genius. This can certainly be said of the conflict between Prince Daemon Targaryen and Otto Hightower. But do you recall when in House of the Dragon, Daemon truly declares against the hand of the king? It was at the Heirs Tournament King Viserys hosted celebrating the impending birth of his son, Balin. For his first opponent, Daemon calls out the eldest son of Otto and ruthlessly unhorses him in the joust. Not one to mince words, Daemon publicly shows that he has no qualms about dispatching Hightowers. His raw strength and brutality clashes spectacularly with Otto's underhanded schemes. Every move and countermove between these two is a masterclass in power dynamics. Daemon Targaryen is a fearless warrior with the blood of dragons coursing through his veins. Bold and impulsive in nature, he acts first and decidedly, not allowing his opponents to gain footing. Daemon recognizes Otto's devious ploys for what they are, dastardly attempts to place his bloodline on the throne. He knows that Otto isn't serving at the pleasure of the king so much as he serves himself and the agenda of his house. Adding insult to injury, Daemon seeks the favor of Alicent Hightower, Otto's daughter, right after humiliating his son in tourney. This is his way after all, direct, unflinching, and unapologetic. Whether you're rooting for the daring dragon rider or the self-serving statesman, one thing is clear. The rivalry between these two is personal as much as it is political. Way before the Dance of the Dragons, Damon declares against Otto. Shots fired, 